guys, welcome to another one of my videos. Today I've got a lip tutorial for you. I've bought quite a few lip products over the past couple of weeks and I've built them up a bit to be able to do a video for you and just try them out and see how they look. I'm also going to show you how I moisturise my lips and also how I prep them for when I want to put a lipstick on, whether it's just putting it on for a day out or going out for a meal or even just a night out. So I've got quite a few to try out today, so we'll get straight into the video. First of all, um, I've only got foundation on my lips now, I've just finished doing my makeup um, and I've just put um, foundation over them. So first of all, I'm going to put this on. This is a lip scrub that I got from Lush. Lush obviously um, are a company that they fight against like animal testing and it's all completely natural ingredients, it's vegan free. Oh, it smells beautiful. This one here is the mint flavoured lip scrub. So what I'm going to do is, I do sometimes, I'll just put my lips straight in it, but, so, just going to put it on my finger there and just rub it over my lips. I do add quite a bit of pressure on it because obviously the whole point in a lip scrub is it so it takes all like any dead skin off and leaves your um, leaves a soft surface for the lipstick to apply to. So I'm just gonna leave this on my lips for a few minutes and then just wipe it away. So once you've rubbed off the lip scrub, it'll also take away any dead skin that is on the lip surface. Then you put some of this on. This here is a coconut oil. I bought a jar of coconut oil and I've just put a little bit into this little tub so I'd be able to take it anywhere with me. It's really good at moisturising because it's a natural oil. So just put a little bit over your lips. Just give it a minute or two just to sink into your lips and give them a bit of a moisturise before you then attach any kind of lipstick. So the first product that I'm going to use is a Rimmel London and it's a, the Kate Moss edition and this is in the shade 30. I'll just show it to you. It's really nice, it's such a really nice like deep pink kind of shade. Can you see that? So I think I'm gonna line my lips with this one. I'm just gonna try and pick the right liner for it and I think I got it straight away there. So the liner that I'm gonna use for it is also Rimmel London and it's a thousand kisses and it is the shade Indian Pink which is 004. It's quite an old one. Um, as you can see. So I'm just gonna apply it and check it out. I do apologise for the out of shot lipstick application. I do this all the time and I promise I will get better. So that's it, that's the first shade for you. It's such a nice shade. It's a really, really deep pink and I've been looking for one like this. I think I got one from, I don't know if any of you remember the front cover collection that Boots used to do and I had a lipstick from there. I don't know whether I show you it, it's a bit embarrassing the state of it, but um, yeah, it's really old, but I haven't been able to get rid of it because I just love the colour of it so much. Um, and I think I may have finally, not too bad, not far off anyway. But there's the difference, obviously that's the front cover one there. Um, but I really, really like it. It's so nice and it just, it's such a, a deep, but also quite a bright colour as well. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with that one. So that one is the Rimmel London and it is in the shade 30, number 30. 
So the next product that I've got for you guys is the CYO Sweep Into Shape. You can see there, it's like a, a trio. It's a lip blush and highlight stick. So you've got your color on the top end there and then your, your highlighter on the other end. But you can pretty much, yeah, I, I'd probably even say that you'd be able to put that on your, your um, as like an eyeshadow as well. But um, I've heard good things about them. So I really wanted to give them a, give it a go and see what it was like. Ooh, it's nice. It's just that one there for you. It's a really nice, it's like a peachy kind of colour, like a peachy coral colour. And then that's the highlighter then on the other side, which is also really, really nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply the peach one to my lips. And then I think I'm going to put a bit of the highlighter just in the centre, just to kind of give them a little bit of a pop. So let's get into it. So that's that one there for you. I'm not sure about it. It's really, really creamy. It's got a really, really creamy consistency to it, which I'm not like an uber fan of like really creamy lipstick. But um, I don't know. I like the uh, I like the shimmer to it, especially at like, the highlight on it, which is really nice. And I think it goes really nice with the colours that I've got on my eyes at the moment. So it's not too bad. I don't think I'll, I don't know whether or not I'd wear it on my lips, to be honest with you. I don't know if I'd maybe just try it as just a bit of like a, uh, like a cheek tint or something like that. But I do like the color of it though. It's really pretty, I don't know. We can play about with it though in um, some future videos, but it's not too bad that one. So that one's a bit of an a-okay. So the next lipstick that I got for you is the Makeup Revolution Sophie X collection. And this one here is in the shade Syrup. That's the case. So that's the shade of it. It's really nice, it's a nude color. I will say I have worn this a couple of times as I've also got um, her shade Cake, which is this one here. So that one there is the cake, and this one here is the syrup. Um, I think there's one more shade. I think she brought three out, so there's one more shade that I really want to get. But this syrup one, I've actually worn this a couple of times. I think I've actually worn it more than the cake shade, and it's such a nice colour. Like, it's got, like, it is really creamy. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the creamy um, consistency, but it's also almost feels um, like I've got nothing on my lips. So I'm going to put this on for you now. So that is the shade view. Um, you will have it skews. I think I've, you can see a, a bit of pink around it, obviously from the previous lipsticks that I've had on. But it's such a nice shade. I, I'm just, I love nude lipsticks and finding a really good nude I just find for me it's quite hard and I don't know if that's because I'm just quite a picky person but this one is so nice it's definitely one of my favorite nudes that I've got at the moment and it fits really well also with the look that I'm going for today as well with the the purple and bronzy kind of shadow up there but I like it it feels so lightweight on your lips so this one here is definitely a thumbs up for me and I will be getting the final shade which I can't remember the name of it, but I've got cake and I've also got syrup, so. So the Makeup Revolution one is a thumbs up. So my final one that I've got for you today is one that I've left purposely till last, and it's one that I have also tried a couple of times, and it is the Superstay Matte Ink by Maybelline New York. This one here is in the shade Lover, which I think is like their most popular shade. It's number 15. But it's really nice pink colour, pink shade. I love my mattes, obviously. But the reason I left this one till last is because it's called Super Stay, and this one does exactly what it's called. It super stays on your lips. Um, the two times that I've worn this, I have struggled to get it off when I'm one of those girls that will 
if I haven't, um, if I don't fall asleep too quickly when I get home on a night out, I will take my makeup off. And I've taken this off on both occasions and woken up in the morning and I've got it all over my face pretty much because I've rubbed it off thinking that I've got it all off and I haven't. And then it's given me probably a good three times, three scrubs in that morning just to try and get it off. So it does exactly what it says and it super stays to your lips. Um, it feels really nice. It does instantly just have a bit of a, a stickiness feel to it. When you, when you let it dry, it still kind of has like a little bit of a sticky sensation to it, which is a bit of a bummer, but um, I have found that if I put like a tiny bit of powder on it, it will go away without actually the powder ruining the look at all. Um, also the brush is, it's got like, I don't know if it's actually an actual hole, I don't think it is, but it's got like a dip in the middle of it. I'll show you the shade now. It's such a nice colour, it really is. Um, I'm not sure what the purpose of the dip in the brush is, but um, it's quite intriguing. So I'm going to apply this for you now. So that's the shade for you. It's beautiful. It's such a really, really nice colour. We'll just give that a minute or so just to melt itself down. So that's it. It's pretty much dried for you now. Um, this it feels quite good. It's kind of got, it's still got that little bit of a stickiness to it. Um, but the shade of it is beautiful. I've been wanting to try this collection for quite a while and I actually had my eye on like a purple kind of shade that they had for it. But when I actually went into the shop to buy myself, I was gonna treat myself to one. This shade completely just jumped out at me. And then afterwards I realized that it was like one of their most popular ones, their most popular shades. I find that I've just dropped it. I find that it also, it can, it's one of those shades that I think will go with um, any kind of color that you put on your eyes. I'll maybe test that out, but so far I've had a few different um, shades where I've gone um, either green, bronze or even purple and it's pretty much matched pretty well with it. Pretty, I say pretty a lot. Yeah, I'm really happy with this one. This is probably my favorite out of the four that I've tried. Um, if I had to rate them, I would definitely maybe go for the Maybelline, followed by the Makeup Revolution and then the Rimmel and then the CYO, definitely. Um, I'd love to know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, whether you've got a favorite lipstick and what it is, or even if any of these are your favorites or you've tried them, I really would like to know. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, it means so much. Also, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and also head over to my Instagram, which is holly with an ie dot rutter and also follow me on my Twitter account, which is holly underscore makeup. So guys, that's it for today. And until next time, take care.